quite enjoy one of Mahler's songs to the words of a poem by Friedrich Rückert. Ich bin von die Welt abhanden gekommen, or I am lost to the world. The piece begins with a beautiful and haunting English horn solo against the background of woodwind and harp, followed by strings. Lost to the world, what does the world mean? When we look at sacred literature, we often see references to leaving the world or dying to the world. One of the most important lessons I have learned about this literature is to always look for the inner meaning, that is, what would it mean when applied to my internal world? The Philokalia tradition counsels us, whenever you hear about the communion of bridegroom and bride, about dancing, music, and feasting, do not take these things in a material or worldly manner, for the things they denote are spiritual and inexpressible. In my internal life, everything that distracts me from my wish to be present must be the world. The world is the many eyes, the constant flow of input from the four centers. While these perceptions are very real on their level, spiritually, they often distract and dull the desire to be present. What is not the world are my efforts to be present in the various thoughts and emotions that serve to support this effort. However, it is not enough just to know this. In order to leave the world, we must begin a process of separating the more real from the less real in ourselves. Essence is the truth in man. Personality is the false. A man's real eye, his individuality, can only grow from his essence. The world is personality in man. It is the result of all the impressions that entered a person throughout their life. To begin to move away from the world, a man must first return to his essence, as he or she was as an infant, but this time with self-awareness. Essence has a natural relationship to whatever is in the present moment, and this relationship is clouded over by the many eyes of personality. Sin for man is a turning away from the most worthy creator and a turning toward the inferior things he has created. This running is nothing else than a turning away from all creatures and being united to the uncreated. Here from two credible sources is the idea of turning away from created things, or literally, creatures, to the creator, or uncreated, as Meister Eckhart says. In order to turn, we must have a point on which to turn, an axis. This is our essence being present to the moment. Once we are in this more real world, we are able to turn, to leave the world of the many eyes, and to enter the world of the divine. We suddenly stand in a new relationship to everything around us. We become intimately connected to other people, to the words in a book, or to the world of nature, and behind all these to the divine that created them. Let's look at Mahler's lyrics. I am lost to the world with which I used to spoil so much time. It has heard nothing from me for so long. It may well believe that I have died. Lost to the world means lost to the world of personality, no longer distracted by the calling of the ten thousand eyes. And I am not interested at all whether it believes me to be dead, and I certainly cannot deny it, for I am really dead to the world. Dead to the world means that we have turned away from it to the divine inside and outside of ourselves through essence presence. I have died to the world's turmoil and I am resting in a quiet realm. The turmoil of the world is nothing external. Instead, it is the constant calling of the many eyes. The quiet realm is essence connected to the present moment. I live alone in my heaven, 
in my loving, in my song. When we are in this heaven of presence, this state of loving, this wordless song of existence, contrary to the lyrics, we are in no way alone, but intimately connected to the highest. <laughs>